I didn't really think that we'd be talking about this in 2021, but here we are. So, <laughs> Pepin's big business. And it's been going on since the beginning of time. And it's going to continue straight ahead. Hello and welcome back to my corner of the interweb. I'm Clathmatic here with my track lip sample series. I be digging. This is episode three, and yes, I've got I've got a convers a conversation for you, rant for you this time. It it I was scrolling on the twitters and I I saw some people had just found out apparently that um well Timberland didn't chop the samples on some of his biggest jay-z and Leah records like big pimp and you know what I mean? more than a woman more than a woman yeah like did you guys just find out that not everybody chop samples so when you down when you download loops when you download loops what do you and and you Y'all don't really, y'all just half time it. Y'all, y'all think that's more creative than the timbal and drum patterns. The whole reason that we're having this conversation is the, is the fact that this man decided, decide, made the decision to use those samples. Go, go listen to Top Billing. Go listen to James Brown, Lobby Safri. You'll, you'll hear a lot of, you'll hear a lot of songs reused, resampled. Yeah, y'all. I, I, I really, I really don't understand this. Y'all love, chi y'all love chicks tape four. Y'all love chicks tape four. So why the, is the fact that Timberland is ju just, just, pu just put drums, just put drums, or on the samples, or just built around the samples, is a problem in twenty twenty one? Like this isn't. It shouldn't. Even, it shouldn't even be a thing. Like there, there's an art to, to sample to to digging for samples, and it it manifests in one of two ways. It's finding the samples, pick, being able to pick out which samples, ear hustling samples, and being able to chop samples. There's some people that can do both. There are some people that are great at one. There are some people that are animals that are at the other it's funny to see everyone's reaction to that it was kind of the same reaction i had when i found out that everybody just uses drum kits and, and like drum loops and sample packs to make their beats and when i first when I, when I first found that out i i want to say i definitely i stopped producing for a while i, I was in my room i was Dugging it out with my keyboard and FL studio, making these struggle beats. And then I come to find out that everybody's just downloading loops. And I was like, what? So I started DJing. I also knew this from a very early age. So it was never, never a shock to me. I, my dad listens to old school hip hop almost religiously. So for the most of my childhood, it was a 12 inch subwoofer, sometimes two, beating into my chest, Eric B and Rakim, top billing. Like hearing these older records, I would hear, I would hear the samples. Like I would already, I would already know like the cold clap. I ain't no joke like that's that's Eric B and Rakim like so like I I grew up with that I mean I'm sure I already we everybody already knew this but a lot of y'all just did, didn't grow up like that and well that's okay I'm here to help that's why that's why I started that's why I started this series on episode three now There'll be a there'll be a link there'll be a link down below to a a crate of curated track uh curated samples on Tracklib for you, and even if you are great at finding your own samples, and sometimes you just don't have the time to like that that's I'm here for you too. Not everybody chop samples. Some people just build around it. So when you down when you download loops when you download loops what do you and and you. Y'all don't really, y'all just half time it. Y'all, y'all think that's more creative than the timbal and drum patterns. Let me know in the comments below how, 
it, what's the different what's the difference between building around a loop from splicer arcade and timbaland going out and getting a sample from halfway across the world to make these hit records any like huh the sheer fact that he made those records is the even reason where is the reason where we're having this conversation is that it, this is even a topic like let let that let that sink in where the the whole reason that we're having this conversation is the is the fact that this man decided decide made the decision to use those samples okay so go go listen to top billing go listen to james brown lobby so free you'll you'll hear a lot of you'll hear a lot of songs reused resampled yeah y'all yeah, I, I i really i really don't understand this and I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna edit this i'm gonna put this at the front of the video y'all love ch y'all love chicks tape four y'all love chicks tape four so why is the fact that timbaland is just just put, just put drums just put drums or on the samples or just built around the samples is a problem in 2021 like this isn't it shouldn't even, it shouldn't even be a thing i just i just i don't get it at all at all but yeah until next time i'm claphmatic make sure you hit that like and subscribe button when you can go click on the link for the playlist on tracklib Shout